Hello and welcome back to Farm of the Last Promise, 0% Groats. This is Chapter 23XX, which is the map you get if you get every single emblem weapon. During this preparation screen, I use an Angelicrobe and a Draco Shield. These were gotten in Chapter 23. The Angelicrobe is used on Shadow, so he can take some extra hits, and the Draco Shield is used on Siegfried. Not Siegfried. Howard. Howard also takes the Brave Axe because, uh, he needs it for the next map. Emma uses one use of the torch staff here. There are two uses of a torch staff used in this map. Howard mo moves over and uses a steel lance. Howard reaches a rank lances during this map, which is actually really nice. The power is within you. Most of the enemies in this map are absurdly weak. Think like the uh, morphs in FE7. But with even more stats. Le'Veon also uses lances a few times just to get extra lance experience. Shadow moves next to Anakin so that he can move uh, to a specific spot next map. Kalak also moves over. Haas moves to over heal and archer that Liquid gets a kill on with a hand axe. Liquid reaches S rank and. Axes during this map. Alice is has is equipped with only lances and not swords now, because she needs to focus on getting her lance right now. Because she's getting her stat boost, uh, her major stat boost after this map. Alice is strong enough to one shot all of these soldiers and all of these enemies that attack her this turn. Haas has the brave bow equipped. He really shouldn't have any weapon equipped, but he doesn't use any weapon at all. So it doesn't change much, I just forgot to dump his items while in preps. Look what one shot some more enemies with hand axe. And Leopold weakens another uh, ghost with- not weakens, kills another ghost. And can see a tiny bit more combat, although it doesn't matter. Obion crits this ghost with a javelin, which is not necessary, but it is cool. And, uh, a ghost uses Eclipse on Luke. Luke reaches promotion level next map. I'm uses Torch the second time. This is technically not necessary. But it does give her a rank line, uh, not lances, staves. Leopold walks out and steel lances an archer. And then Liam rescues. Uh, Leopold and moves over. Liam gets danced while carrying Leopold. This boss is. This boss is a dark mage that has 51 attack. Liam lives on 1 HP. And Emma has the barrier staff in order to boost Leopold's magical bulk. Originally, Liam got the kill. Well, not Liam. Howard got the kill on the boss, but uh, that would require Leopold to take a hit. Uh, Leopold well, moves over and equips a travel on him, and Shadow moves him up all the way to reveal the boss because he has the incre uh, increased vision in the fog due to being an assassin. Russ kills another uh, fighter. He's mainly working on getting a tiny bit of sword rank. Alex moves over and one shots another ghost with a javelin. And then Haas uh, dumps his stuff in the convoy. There are two chests. One of them is in, uh, is the, I believe it's an eclipse tome, and the other one is a torch. Neither are necessary. And we can't even get either of them. Lime has a short bow quit this enemy phase. He one shots all these enemies anyway. Emma doesn't need to one round that fighter. She doesn't need any more uh, weapon experience. Enemies in this map do not give normal experience, as I'm sure you've noticed, but they do give weapon experience. Alice technically could have attacked the mercenary from the left with the travel instead, and then she would have been able to get a tiny bit more less experience, but it doesn't change anything. Liquid gets more axe experience, and Le'Veon gets more lance experience.
Every single crit in this map is unnecessary except for against the boss. Anakin gets a crit here. <laughs> Alice kills an archer with a javelin. Mm, there we go. There are some things that are worth talking about, actually. At the end of this map, because the boss kill is coming up soon, there is a dump of, I believe, seven items on Tukelik, and all of them are worthwhile. Some are just a lot of- are worth a lot of money, other ones just, uh, are useful for the rest of the run, with one in particular being absurdly helpful. Emma is moved so that she can bear Leopold after a dance. Is this necessary? No, but the extra barrier use literally doesn't matter. Two RNs are burnt in order for Liam to move over and weaken this boss with the crit. In theory, a double crit would have been better, because then Liam and Leopold could have gotten a hit of uh, the kill the Steel Lance instead of the Killer Lance, but. Yeah. It's still easy. And then the uh, other units work on a, bit, a little bit of self-improvement with weapon rank. And then Howard gets the last weapon rank kill. And now he can stop using lances and focus mainly on axes until it is necessary for him to use silver lances. Leopold gets a 39% crit, and then that's the end of the map. The boss is actually really nice, really cool, but it's a shame that he's not that big of a threat. Valence is then sent to the convoy. Then we get a dump of items. The flam on all into Calic. The flam bird and adamant lance are act are very helpful. The chainsaw is really nice. The dasher is just money. The drizzle is really nice. The hammering is really nice. The animate seal is extra money. And then we get the Aether Sphere. The Aether Sphere is a stat booster that grants plus... Grants plus 10 HP, plus 3 to every other stat, including movement and constitution. This is going on to Alice first thing next map. Sorry that my mic peak right, peaked right there. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good rest of the day.